Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz. I am doing a comparison video today between the McPlant versus a regular quarter pounder cheeseburger. I've already done a taste test with the McPlant and I did a slight comparison between the texture of the McPlant versus the quarter pounder. And let me just say, just the texture alone, there's no comparison. The McPlant has too, of a, too much of a soft, mushy texture and there was no comparison. There was no way to even slightly confuse that it was, you know, mental, at least, you know, kind of play mental tricks with yourself of saying that, oh, you know, this tastes like, or this, this has the texture of meat. I can, I can easily see that substitute with McPlant. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not at all. I took a first bite and before I actually even started chewing just that initial bite and my tongue hitting the roof of my mouth with the, you know, burger in between that mushiness was, I'm not a fan of, but, um, I'm going to do a comparison. I actually taking a bite of both the quarter pounder and the McPlant to be able to see which one tastes better. I mean, mentally I already know, but I haven't had a quarter pounder in a couple of days. <laughs> it's been a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Okay. This is cold. <laughs> I think I just might be hungry, you guys. So I'm enjoying this review. Slightly. <laughs> the quarter pound version I am. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do the comparison. So here is a small piece of the McPlants. And that's me just smashing it down. You see how easily it was to smash down? I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Actually, there we go. With the a piece of the quarter pounder. You can actually see the grease behind it. So here is the comparison between the McPlant. The McPlant is on the left side, the actual quarter pounder is on the right side, so you guys can actually see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of the McPlant. Yes, there is cheese on these burgers. It also comes with mayo. Um, I did not get mayo on any of my vegan burgers, nor tomatoes, just because I don't like them. So no, this is not intended to be a vegan friendly meal. Keep in mind that the bun is still the regular bun, you know, either one, they could easily be switched out. So it's going to be the same bun, which more than likely has eggs in it and milk. I'm not a fan of it. It's too gooey. I, I can't do the make plant at all. I'm sorry. It's just not for me, the texture alone. I can tolerate the taste because you got the, you can easily add, you know, ketchup and mustard to kind of cover up the taste of it a little bit, but with the texture is the biggest fail in my opinion. So that's my two cents. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my other YouTube channel at Jazzy Reviews. And if you have any suggestions on anything else I should try, go ahead and drop them down below or just say hi. Love hearing from you guys. In the meantime, stay tuned. Stay jazzy. Thanks for watching.